This thing is huge. There's no pond here anymore, buddy. You gotta go. everybody it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens today we are in Flanders NJ New Jersey we are about to start another project here well you got awfully dark real quick that's better okay so we're about to start another project it is going to be a pond to pondless waterfall conversion there is an existing pond here they've had it for a number of years actually when they moved into the house the pond was here somebody came in they did a relining job not exactly ideal when it comes to aesthetics but it was functional and it held water the problem is the waterfall's not really tied into the pond anymore, and I'll explain that. There were some boulders inside the old liner. They just came in and wrapped the liner up over the top of the old rockwork. They used some sort of an epoxy here to adhere the liner to it, to keep it from slipping back in. But what happens over time with any of this kind of stuff is it will it will separate, and it won't actually form a bond with the rockwork. So it's, it's a matter of time before that started to happen and started to flip up. And they actually glued it to the top of the rocks. Over here against the wall, they glued it right against the stonework. Liner from the pond is supposed to come up behind the waterfall and then the waterfall liner comes in. So eventually what would happen is that would start to drip down and get behind the liner. Then you'd have water underneath the liner as well as a leak. The plan here is we're gonna rip this whole thing out. We're gonna install a pondless reservoir. We're gonna build a brand new waterfall in front of the old existing waterfall. This really is a nice setting. Up here in Flanders, it's a very rocky area, which is good for us because there's some rocks here in the wood line that we're actually gonna take and use in this feature because anytime I can use indigenous stone that has lichen and moss on it and it came from the property, always a good scenario. Check out this beautiful stone. Already got the moss and the lichen on it. Really beautiful stuff. So we're gonna take a lot of this, harvest it and bring it down to our job site. It's time to get this thing rolling. One of the precautions we take when we're working in a nice landscape is we try to ply with ourselves a road to get the machine back. The machine weighs 12,000 pounds. It's a track machine, which means it gets low ground pressure, but still with turning on grass or there's some soft spots, it's gonna make some depression. So we do our best to try and protect the grass as much as possible. Inevitably, something's going to happen, which later on in the landscape, we can do some seeding if that's necessary, but we're taking every precaution now to try and make sure that there's very little damage done. remember if I talked about this before or not but the reason they got rid of the pond and they went with a pondless waterfall is a couple things the pond they weren't keeping fish in it so they had no interest in keeping fish it was just an open body of water and the waterfall was causing them a problem initially we were just gonna pick the rocks up that they plastered the liner to and put them on top of the liner and then we as we discussed it I figured out they really love the sound of the waterfall they don't care so much about the pond so we, we said well let's just make it something that's low maintenance that was the option to go with the disappearing type waterfall where it is very low maintenance and something where you just get that cascading waterfall and that nice sound coming towards the house without the maintenance of the body of water I'm gonna let these guys keep moving this dirt in tonight so tomorrow we can get our reservoir in and then we can start building this waterfall so I'll see you guys in the morning and just like that, we're back at it today. It's a beautiful sunny day. We are about to get this reservoir installed. We got ourselves some sand. That's gonna be a good protective layer for the excavation. So Rich and Bolivar are getting the excavation together for our aqua blocks. These are our aqua blocks, which provide our water storage. Once the liner goes in and these go inside, it creates a structural void, gives us the ability to store water inside this excavation. This is our pondless vault. At the bottom here is where the pump sits. 
that means that everything above here is available to use water-wise for the pump. The aqua blocks will sit, rest right on this foot and they'll sit about this high. So all that area above here, which is about 200 gallons, is gonna be available for this pump to feed the waterfall. I'm gonna go back in the woods and collect those rocks I showed you yesterday so we can have them ready to go. As soon as the reservoir's in, we're building the waterfall. We have our first rock strapped up, ready to go in. It's gonna go right in the center of the reservoir because we're gonna split a waterfall at the bottom here. This is it, it's a little hard to see now the way I put it down, but this is the face of it. Probably like five feet across. It's about 15 to 1700 pound bowler. It's a heavy one. I'm perched up here on top of this wall, which I'm hoping is constructed well, so it doesn't send me down the hill. But we gotta set it out here, right about the edge of our reservoir because we're gonna have that in the center and then have waterfalls coming in on either side and that's where it'll terminate into the basin. So exciting, I love that we have our first rock picked out and it's a really, really nice one. As I start to set this rock, I gotta keep this window in mind because that is their kitchen looking right out at this water feature. So I wanna make sure that whatever I do with this first boulder, I'm not blocking any of the viewpoints. It's important that sitting at that table, they can look out and they can see all these beautiful cascades coming down the hill and I don't want to obstruct anything. This is going to be critical. Okay, here's some more technical stuff. Now that we've got our frame rocks in, we're looking for pieces to put in between, and that's gonna create our weir for the waterfall. All the weir is, is a spillway where the water's gonna come off in between the rocks. We're gonna look for something that's gonna fit nicely and marries up with the rocks around it. That one there, I'd like to see it up forward some more. So I'd like to see that probably about two or three inches this way. And I wanna be like right at that elevation there so the water is really just running up on this rock a little bit when it comes out. So this way it'll come off and maybe it'll spill off this way a little bit. On this side, we've already got a weir rock tucked in between these two boulders. We'll have one in the back that spills into a little pool behind this and then does a little turn and then comes off this way. We're gonna have some rocks here that create like a little streamway, then disappear. That's all the special effects you're getting out of me today. <laughs> So we're gonna get this rock in here, but it is way too heavy for this machine and I'm in a really precarious spot on top of this wall, but it looks so good that it just has to go there. So I know the homeowners are gonna watch this, <laughs> this episode later and think that we're crazy, but it'll be worth it, I promise you guys. This is just ridiculous. Look how big that rock is. <laughs> I got one shot at this, Rich. Like it goes down and I'm not picking it back up again. Are we good, bully? All right. gonna come off that rock wall. I'm up as, as far as I can go. Can you get a pry bar under it? Oh yeah. Woo! All right. Bully, look out, man. Woo! All right. I came down in a hurry. It's definitely staying down there. <laughs> That was totally sketchy, but we got it. Man, we kicked some serious butt today. This is really starting to take shape. We're up to our second level of waterfalls. We've got one more to go. I really can't stand this time of year where it gets dark so early. It's only like it's only like six o'clock and it's already getting dark. Doesn't matter because we are ready to go tomorrow. I think we might have a chance of finishing this thing tomorrow. We'll see how it goes, but we will see you guys in the morning. We got rain last night and it's gonna be raining all day today. So I don't know exactly how far we're gonna to get today, but I'm hoping, hoping to be able to finish. I don't think it's likely because we've got so much cleanup work to do and I don't want to destroy this yard with the machine. So we're gonna get done whatever we can get done as far as the weather lets us. But let me show you where we're at right now and what we're hoping for. Okay, the waterfall is pretty much done. Boulevard's at the very top there where we're just setting a couple rocks that's gonna start the waterfall and we can put our diffusers in and then that's all buttoned up. All the finish work down here is getting completed. Haven't done any moss work yet, but that pool is ready for gravel. 
and some lights and then we can work our way up through here just do touch-ups along the way there's not much machine work left on the waterfall itself except for maybe a couple rocks in here but you can see these big guys have to get back out of here and this huge hunk of concrete this used to be the start of the waterfall they just put a bunch of rocks and poured concrete around the whole thing you can see this was some sort of a pooling area that started the waterfall and then it came out here well we're in north jersey it freezes here and if you don't have a footing underneath something which this clearly does not what happens over time is it just starts to crack and come apart and concrete with rocks around it just doesn't hold up for any period of time here. I don't know if I mentioned this when we started, but the original pond that was here was actually attacked by a black bear. It got inside the pond and tore the thing to shreds. So that's when they did that liner fix where they glued it onto the rocks, hoping to solve that problem. Well, it didn't really solve the problem. So now that's the reason we're doing this. So I just want to make sure I covered that because I think I might've missed it in the beginning. That aside, let's see what we can get done today. As per usual, something's come up for me, so I gotta run. The guys are gonna finish doing some of the finish work here. Tomorrow we can do our little polishing and tweaking, and then we're gonna turn this thing on. It's a little nicer today. The sun is out. It is freezing cold, but we are back here in Flanders, and this waterfall just looks fantastic. Wait till you see this. It really turned out just so nice. From what used to be here, which is this picture here, to what we've turned it into now, what a transformation. What a difference. The way the waterfall fits next to the gazebo, what used to be here was a pond with just a stone waterfall built into the stone wall that was spilling in. It had some issues. Remember, this was attacked by a bear before they did the initial fix. And now we've turned into what's called a pondless or disappearing waterfall. Reservoir below ground here, which stores all the water that's in motion now. When this is shut off, completely dry, so you don't have an exposed body of water anymore. And it fits the scope of this property a lot of indigenous boulders were used here stuff that came right out of the woods you guys saw all that stuff and it couldn't have turned out any better i wanted to show you this so inside sitting at the kitchen table you look out and this window is just framing this amazing waterfall how'd you like to have coffee to that every day guys thanks for sticking around hope you enjoy what we did over here today if you like what we're doing hit that subscribe button drop me a like leave me a comment tell me what you think about this waterfall, this whole transformation going from a pond to a pondless waterfall, and we'll see you guys on the next one.